What's up, everybody? It's Tuvitus here, and this tutorial this is gonna be a this is gonna be a really quick tutorial, but it's gonna be really interesting because you're gonna be able to work much faster, you know. So let's let's stop talking and let's get right into the tutorial, right? So let's say that you have okay. This is a thumbnail for a for a video that I made. So if you want to check it out, let's go to my channel. So as you can see. The, these letters, the background letters, they have like a layer style, right? They have the inner glow, they have the gradient overlay and all that stuff. So let's say that we write something else. Here was like cool background. This was the, the title of the video, right? How to make a cool background and stuff. So let's say that I want these letters to have the same layer style as these ones right here. But of course, like, the way that you would think about it is like you go here, you double click, right? And you just start putting everything in like the the glow and the color overlay, well, the gradient overlay, the, the shadows and all that. But there's a way that you can do it much easier, which is just going to the, to this, to these letters, to this layer right here. You just right click and you go here all the way in the bottom. You see here like, copy layer style so you click that and what it's gonna do is like it's just copy paste right you're just gonna copy paste the layer style from this layer to this layer so you're gonna paste layer style and as you can see now they both have the same layer style obviously you know so that's it that's the trick for today and I'm gonna give you a bonus tip if you click the link in my description you're gonna win at $30 worth of content. No, I'm joking. But now I'm gonna give you a, a free tip that is really useful also. You can save it. You can actually save, like for example, let's say that I have this layer style right here. This one, I actually have it saved already. So let's create a new one. Let's say that I want like a, I have like a stroke like that on the, like a border like that. And I wanna save that layer style. What I can do is like, I can go over here to this little bar that I have here, right? You click this styles. And if you don't have this bar, you can probably, there's probably like something here. If you go to view, that's going to make it appear. I don't know exactly what it is. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> There's probably something, oh, or in window, here. Hmm. View, window, styles. Well, I don't know, man, but, okay, let's, you can play around with that to see if you have it, but let's say that you have it here. Just click here while you have this layer selected and just click here, like if you were to create a new one. And there you go, like, red border and that's it you can save it so the way that you can use it let's say that you won't have you have this one like this and you want this to have the same style just click it and here you can have different styles saved as you can see i have a lot there you have something some of them that come with photoshop already and so that yeah that's really interesting because i'm actually gonna erase this one because it's ugly <laughs> But yeah, that's the cool thing that you can have a lot of styles. And this is not for this file only. Like if you create a new file, you have, you're working on a totally different project. You can also use this layer styles. So that's the interesting thing about it. Like you can have it saved and you don't have to, every time you do it, put all the settings in, you know, like 